All right, guys, welcome back. So uh, we're going to dive right into the accessories because we have uh, a bunch to get through. Uh, we're going to start off with some uh, backpacks and stuff. So we have, so this is the Fall Winter 2022, um, the style, if you like. It's, it's kind of futuristic uh, from, obviously, the color that they use this time is um, silver. And I do like the, um, I do actually quite like the um, the colorway that they they bring up with this time. And the design actually looks a bit, it looks among, it's like, it's 22, so I think it's a standard size of fat pack. Um, but I've been always in, using the um, the one from like a couple of seasons, seasons ago, and it's not broken, so I don't know if I will change it or not. But I do like the, the, the kind of strips kind of going through in the middle, um, with silver being like obviously the best color to go for absolutely if you're thinking of changing your backpack you definitely go for that color um, so we have a actually 80 liter that's that's a massive tote bag that <laughs> I think is good for travel I guess it's it, it is massive uh, and again silver one pops up uh, be interested to see how much this would be because usually a um, a backpack like that or, or it, it would cost around like 150 ish if not uh, a bit more so be intrigued to see that um so we have a double which is a 39 still quite big and i do again like the silver color um the best out of the four um we have a little shoulder bag which is quite a standard one again a silver one love um we have a little waist bag um i think these would be like pretty average like 30 ish 40 maybe a 40 ish i guess um so organizer um, set so you will get um, a set of three I don't know if I should be getting one of these for like packing in stuff for like trips and all that stuff I think they're pretty worth it for a set but they will probably be costing around 60 70 ish so you know a little bit pricey but you do get a set of three for that for different sizing Um personally I don't feel the um, the design on these i mean there are quite you can say they're luxurious they kind of reminds me of like a balenciaga kind of feel but i honestly don't know about the um the pattern and obviously with it being not like a sip back or anything um it's not as practical i guess um the side back however i don't know like i the green one actually pops to me so if i was to to think or to choose from it i think i might go for the green i just don't feel the patterns on these so um so it's not for me so we have a, a again a puffer pouch as well uh water resistant so 1.5 leads actually pretty big for a pouch so i'm guessing uh we can hold quite a lot of stuff in there so we also have a neck pouch as well um it's seven times 3.7 so maybe a little bit bigger than what it should be because there are some uh, pouches from previous seasons but I think these kind of generally look a bit bigger than um, the ones that what we've seen previously so mm. okay so that's it for bags and I think uh, we have a lot to go through in terms of uh, I'll go through the snapback as well before we dive into the accessories like proper accessories so um, so we have a couple of uh, standard like six panel uh, I think these are pretty clean like you know it's different like they don't have the supreme branding on the the top of it like in front of it but instead uh, so I think these are looking pretty nice um, quite standard moving on uh, a few more the six panels um, S logo oh this is pretty nice um, I think anything I, I love anything like minimal from like I think they're they're doing a pretty good job here in terms of like having a minimal like a uh, small logo at the front uh, not 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 entirely sure about these uh, we have some five panel as well Um, I guess this kind of like depends because we have a lot of like collaboration as well so I don't think these will be sort of priority unless they have any sort of like box logos Um, so yeah so these are the money box logo and the only one that we get so um so you do get like a ripped like um like a one usd note on the side but then obviously it's a box logo cap so what more do you expect it's just that uh, we also have a leather box logo there as well uh wind stoppers okay we got some um 
buckle as well. Uh, so this is like basically the the backs for this season, but on a buckle. I do quite like the idea of that. So, yeah, that's pretty much for the um the kind of first half of the accessories. I think the backs are looking pretty nice, especially that silver color. Been on about for a number of times. Uh, hopefully they release at week one as well. So. And we'll see the actual retail on this. And we also do like a week one drop list as well. So before that, we'll go down to the, the last bit of the accessory, which is the big ticket items we have right here. So we have actually a Supreme Honda. Um, it's looking so clean and it's made exclusively for Supreme. So this is like um, the one to go for if you're a biker and you're a big Supreme fan. Um, looking pretty sleek. Uh, we also have a chair as well, which is looking amazing. So you have like a massive box logo back there. I don't know how comfy they are though to sit on, but definitely looking really sick. It'll be a really good display, sort of um, a piece to have at your home or your high-beast room. So this one is probably going for <laughs> quite a lot of money, but it's a sewing machine. So I think my G is going to like this. I don't know like how much it's going to be, but I think I need more pictures of it. I need to know a bit more. I need to go have a look at the, the brand. I think she probably know a bit more about this brand. Uh, so she'll be able to kind of maybe check the price and see how much it would be potentially. Just doubling whatever it is on its own, but that's looking pretty sick. The Supreme or more cool though. <laughs> okay, so this is this is sick. Like obviously you get like a box logo of like the box logo hoodie, two of them. I don't know if it's sold as a set or separate or maybe just with different costumes you get. But obviously these, um, these ja this jacket and these pants are from this season. So I'm guessing Maybe they're hinting something. I don't know. <laughs> so we have a um, also a coffee maker. This is so nice. I think I would love to get one if it's not too overpriced. Um, and I start drinking coffee as well. <laughs> I mean, I do have a coffee machine at home. It's just that I don't use it as often. But if this is in my house every day, no doubt, morning, afternoon, evening, coffee, you name it. Uh, I think the red looks pretty, pretty amazing. Uh, so next up we have a radio cupboard. Uh, so this is sake like um, intrigued to see the price. I mean I am not a radio fan, but it's a cool piece to have at home or in your room to play some radio and stuff. I'm sure you can connect to your Bluetooth as well on there, so you can play some music of it. I'm sure. Alarm clock. Oh nice. So we have a domino set, uh, and it's aluminium. So I think. I don't play dominoes, but like this is probably a good piece to collect. It's just looking sick. Um, oh, we have a, a a beanie baby. So this uh, probably I don't know if it's going to be like a US exclusive. It's the way it dress up, but it's a cool one to have, I guess. Um, next up we have nail polish. <laughs> so three. Um, it's a set of three. You get a black, red, and white. So it might be a good Valentine's Day or like a Christmas gift. Who knows? Um. Oh, I love that. Mini Nissan Skyline R33. So this is uh, obviously a remote car. I, I, I love I love how they're, you know, they're bringing up a lot of like different toys for people, like for collectors, and this is something that they actually, they can actually play with. And obviously with that logo there, it's, I think it's something of this season. So it's good that they're, they're making that branding there. I uh, love to see the price on that. Oh my God, gumbo machine. So... I don't know how much this is, but I do want to get one of this like for collection. This is so cool. Like you can fill that up. It's all filled up with like Supreme, obviously brand and all that. But once you find a run out of that, you can always, always make a change to it. So you have this J Japanese handmade. I don't know how you pronounce it, but this is looking cool. Um, it's a bamboo frame, so it, it should be quite strong. It's a table lamp, so I don't know how my table going to fit this, but if I manage to cop one of these, I'm probably going to leave it on my desk. Um, it's handmade, metal-based, oh, looking good, like, honest, honestly, honestly. Um, so we have a 6 kilo kettlebell as well for any gym members here. <laughs> Dove Boy cookie jar, which is also a, I think it's, pretty nice like i don't know about uh doughboy like um but it's it, it is looking pretty cute so i don't know 
Um, we have a uh, olive oil. I don't know why they're bringing out olive oil. But it's just something that, you know, just they they can they can make anything supreme really. So not surprised. Um, we have a two box two box that can probably is also made in Japan as well. You can see the logo there and that. Um, oh, I do think this blue is new. I think yeah, it's it's new. But I think I personally would go for the red if I was to get that. Uh, a lot of Japanese pieces and this time we have a tea set it's just like the sake the, the sake <laughs> uh, the sake set that we um, a couple well a lot of seasons ago like uh, but this is something they've managed to come up with again uh, quite uh, Asian oriented for this um, you know people love it they get honestly it's nothing nothing too crazy but this is gonna cost quite a bit of money for sure uh okay so any gardeners <laughs> oh no not gardeners like it's for, like the winter the snow so um i think this would be quite expensive as well it's pure purely because it's aluminium so um but it's looking pretty clean we have <laughs> um a shell as well which is pretty sick but the, the fuckham obviously is a slogan from very much famous by supreme so uh, i'm really happy that they're trying to bring that back now to some of the accessories uh, with a Seiko alarm clock, uh, not a huge one, but it's looking nice. If it's reasonable at a price, I might go for it. I might go for it, honestly. Uh, glass mugs, always a clean, always the best one to go for. And it, it because it's glass, so you can drink a lot of like hot drinks in it. You can make coffee in it as well. So definitely recommend going for that. Um, so it's a set of six. So there might be three different colors. So we're seeing two colors now. I think the third color could be red. Uh, so so as a set of six, so it could be, I don't know, it could be like 50, 60 quid, who knows, like be like 10 quid each or something. Um, but they're pretty nice. A large inflatable snowman, this is gonna be fire. If you have that outside your house at Christmas, you probably get stolen. So <laughs> I'm just gonna leave that in my room if I have that. Uh, watercolor set, nice. Uh, pocket light again a lot of biker stuff ashtray this is looking pretty glamorous uh, we have a flask and also some sepal that uh, okay so another juice pack as well from uh, Mofi um, but this time I think they've kind of embroidered the um, the logo mark there which is looking clean and it won't come off as easily uh, this is nothing to do with us I don't think in the UK uh, we probably won't get that uh, we have a towel, so set as set of two as well. Bell, not really interested. Halfway through it now, thirty-four. Ooh, um, a, a tea air freshener. I think it's sick. I like, I like the, I like to have it because it's a set of set of maybe set of two. I do like the white tea, you know, Boss logo, standard, classic. Uh, be a little cool accessory to have and hung it in your car. Uh, we have some work gloves. Oh, okay, so the bandana. <laughs> The bandana tackless tackless tea. Um, I personally would go for the black. To be honest, I think his. Um, I am very much rocking the bandana logo recently, and I love uh, how Supreme is is popping on as well. So I'll be getting obviously the tea and the boxes, uh, preferably the black one. Uh, so it comes with uh, two in a pack. So I'll be probably getting an extra large of that standard air force the white one the black one as well uh some keychains i think this slide keychain is actually pretty nice like you can actually open that top bit there and then you can swap it out so you can have like pre like just spell your name or whatever and uh, that's that's looking pretty nice uh customizable i'll say and so a lot of the rounded pin i'm not a pin person for supreme but oh my god this boss logo t-shirt scale that is looking so clean and I love how like the kind of free, like the the three D shape looking at like the, how the how the boss logo has been creased and then you have that supreme tack on the back as well to show that is authentic. I do really love that like it is so clean. Uh, it's painted by a guy called Robbie Rose. Um, so this is this is pretty nice. You have the trash trash skateboard as well, which is sick. I have that on the T. Um, so the elephant, which is a standard. I don't know who they are and um, the three kings again i don't know too much about this i've not done my research doughboy a lot of doughboy item this this season so i mean that comes to an end of all the accessories 
But I have to say overall, I'll give it like definitely a, an 8.5 for this season's the stuff because there are still a lot of unseen items for sure and then obviously the collaboration stuff. But look, lookbook item are fire. They are lit. Like honestly, I there are 60-70% of stuff that I want to get but not willing to pay the price of that but um but definitely check out the the week one drop list coming up and i will definitely be trying to maybe go in store at some point of the first week if i'm unable to do a live cop but hopefully i'll be able to do that uh but yeah i'm i'm happy to happy to do another quick video of the drop list once it's out and um, with retail but that would be probably looking at like maybe Wednesday time, Tuesday, Wednesday, maybe tomorrow, maybe Wednesday, but definitely. So yeah, that's it for today's video. Don't forget to comment, subscribe and uh, share with us what you're going for for this week and what you what your thoughts are about the accessory. How would you score it out of 10? And yeah, see you guys in the next video.